Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com and today I'm going to answer some of the very common questions among students regarding the eligibility criteria. So every day I get a lot of calls, messages regarding the eligibility criteria. I'm going to answer all the questions related to eligibility criteria of IBPS SO marketing today. Okay, uh, we are expecting the notification in the month of November. So stay updated on this channel and subscribe the channel. Uh, so that you'll be getting the regular updates, right? For the age criteria, minimum age is 20 years and the maximum is 30 years. <clears throat> and the probable uh, cutoff date is 1st of November 2022. So 1st of November ki date ko up base man ke, you have to calculate your age, right? So 1st of November 2022, this is probable. This is not official as of the moment, but this is probable cutoff date. So minimum 20 years, maximum 30 years. Some relaxations are available uh, for, uh, you know, uh, for the students of reserved category ca candidates, right? So common questions, most common questions are from uh, the students. It's regarding the educational qualifications. So students, if you have done MBA in marketing, MMS in marketing or PGDBA, PGDBM, PGPM, PGDM with specialization in marketing, then you are eligible. So a common question, sir, I have done MCOM uh, in marketing. You Am I eligible? No, you are not eligible. Sir, I have done MBA. Uh, major is finance. Major is finance. While minor subject is marketing. Am I eligible? No, you are not eligible. So if your major is finance and it is mentioned on your degree or mark sheet that your major subject is finance and minor is marketing, you are not eligible. Another con common question is regarding the dual specialization. Dual specialization. There are many universities which provide dual specialization, dual speciali uh, dual specialization degrees or diplomas, then you are eligible. It is acceptable. If you have done MBA in marketing and HR, no, uh, nothing is mentioned about uh, any specialization. You just need to get a, you know, certificate or a letter from your HOD that your specialization is your major subject is marketing. You will be eligible. If nothing is mentioned, get a certificate from your, uh, you know, HOD in any case, even in dual specialization or if nothing is mentioned in many degrees, nothing is mentioned directly. It's, it says MBA general specialization is not mentioned. That is the case. So uh, dual specialization, 100% ex, uh, acceptable. If nothing is mentioned, even then you are eligible. Okay. But if it is specifically mentioned that a major is uh, HR, major is finance or major is international business, then you are not eligible. No equivalent educational qualifications shall be considered as eligible by IVPS or participating bank. Uh, in anything, any equivalent uh, qualification like uh, MCOM, this is not valid. MCOM is not valid at all. Agar aapne koi related degree kar rakha hai, it is not acceptable. Exactly, it should be exactly MBA, MMS, PGDBA, PGDCA, uh, PGPM, PGDM, uh, PGDBM. Only then you are eligible with specialization in marketing. Dual specialization is acceptable if marketing is minor or any other subject is major, even then you are not eligible. So keep that in note. Okay. So all educational qualifications mentioned should be from a recognized uh, university institution or board. Uh, it should be recognized from government of India or a, a government regulatory body, right? And another important thing, the results. So if you are a pairing candidate, the final result should have been declared on or before the last date of the application. So before applying, before the last date of the application, the result should have been declared. The result should have been already declared before the last date of your application, right? So if your uh, result has not been declared as of the moment, right? Or you are expecting the result to be declared 
after the application dates then you are not eligible right you are not eligible let's say the application last date to apply is let's say 30th of november let's say okay and your result is declared on 15th of december right and the mains exam is on in the month of january you are not eligible right your candidature would be cancelled okay some age relaxation is provided to the SCST candidates, five years, three years to OBC non creamy layers, uh, persons with the disability, 10 years, up to 10 years, right? Ex servicemen, five years, persons affected by riots, five years, right? So it's five years. 1984 riots, five years. So students IBPS SO marketing course, we have started it on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing complete video classes, doubt clearing sessions, one to one doubt clearing session, notes, test series, complete coverage of the syllabus and everything is available on bankexamstudy.com. In case of any doubt regarding the course, you can drop a WhatsApp message or you can make a, make a call. All the links are available in the description. Please check the description to start your preparation, right? In 2022, all these students who took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. And then in 2021, all these students who took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. And in 2019, all these students, 2020, all these students who took our courses, 2019. So these are our students who cracked the IBPS SO marketing exams in the last four years. So if there is any doubt in your uh, in your mind regarding the eligibility criteria or preparation or anything else related to the exam, you can drop a WhatsApp message or you can make a call and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today. So wouldn't subscribe the channel and like this video. That's really, really important for us. So thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.